Brickmania is filmed before a live studio audience. This is true. <laughs> All right, welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Um, did you see that animation? It was a good animation. Okay, we're talking oh, about cool the episode now. Cool. Yeah, that was a great episode of animations. Yeah, let's get this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we'll get this Russian ninja out of here now. Yitzi. What? That's my name. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. Did I already say that? I did. Yitzi, you yes. have a new model for us today. Yes, I do. The Acacia. It is. Yes. And um, also referred uh -huh. to as the 2S3 or the 2C3. 2C3 Acacia. Yes. yes. So the Katia yes, has the a history, I understand. 2S3. <laughs> Katia 2S3 has a history. It does have a history, going all the way back to 1967. Wow. And uh, this is basically, sort of looks like a tank, but it is actually a self-propelled um, artillery gun, a right. 152 uh, that was to kind of match the American 155. Um, and they found it to be uh, successful. It was used uh, in a couple of Chechen wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, it's actually still used today. Um, there's probably, a, in Russia, I think there's probably a thousand uh, active uh, ones being used and another thousand in storage. Uh, there are, I don't know, at least 10, 15 countries that also use this. Um, the newer upgraded versions have uh, bigger, more powerful guns. This ver so this is, what version is this one? So this one is the, this would be like the, uh, the original, like the 152. All right. Um, but the, the later ones, really it's the gun upgrade. The hull itself hasn't changed that much. Um, in the rear, there's uh, different, slightly different configurations. So it'd be one larger, um, uh, like kind of like an oval hatch okay. instead of the two smaller ones. Um, more or less, that's about it. There's okay. some small differences, but if you didn't know and you just saw a picture of it, you knew it was a Katsu, but wouldn't necessarily know which version. Right. Um, so yeah. it's a self-propelled gun. Um, pretty straightforward how it works in battle, right? Yeah, they S supporting. I don't, I don't know how 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 would they use this in battle? I guess it's just like any other artillery piece, sure. uh, except it wouldn't have to be towed. It's okay. self-propelled, so the engine compartment would be in the front. Um, and with like most Russian vehicles, you could see where the weight is. You got the most of the wheels over there. And instead of adding another one, they just <laughs> took one out. I'm like yeah, we don't need an extra one. Uh, but the engine would be up in here at the gearbox. And then um, the whole loading part with all the gun stuff and everything would be uh, mostly in the rear. Okay, cool. Uh, moving on to the kit. The Let's kit. talk about some, some details. What's the first thing you want to talk about here? So an interesting thing that I found on this uh, is sometimes you'd have the engineers come out and, you know, or uh, like maybe the M60 has its own shovel, its own plow, can dig out an area. So the just the turret part itself would be above ground yeah um this has its own um wow oh, cool it just pops down i did not know that was on there yeah <laughs> they, two guys come out there just unclip it drop it and it maybe takes a half an hour to 40 minutes and they just they just drive back, back and up, forth yeah just back down just dig out a little spot and it works it works cool. it's simple and cheap i guess i didn't, I didn't know that was on there yeah honestly. Honestly. and then you could just you know shut things out of <laughs> exactly how that <laughs> that's works that's how it works Cool. Um, all right, what else do we have on here? So the defining features, you know, let's say looks wise on the side, um, you'd have, so you have your exhaust over here, then you have some tools. Um, on this side, um, we're gonna get, I guess, right into the printing. Sure. There's like three different hatches. Mm -hmm. um, we did a custom print on that. Uh, we did your, uh, we did 41s over here in the back. You know, you'd have different numbers, and then we have a new uh, duffel bag that you. It's a three wide. Three wide instead of we have one by two tiles that have that print, but this is the first one by three. And that's it with a bit of texture printing on that. So yeah, you can yeah, it's got the puppy print, so really cool, that. unique to this yep. tank for now. Um, 
And then it does come with the commander. Yeah. That um, we have. We've seen this guy before. Uh, I think he first debuted with the IS-3, the pipe. The pipe. Guy, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, 360 printing on there. It's a really simple uniform, just their basic, um, just kind of a jumpsuit that goes over uh, a standard uniform to keep it clean. And there's a bit of a, there's just a belt that goes with that. And some boots. Yeah, we used that also in the, um, what kit did we just do recently? The SU-85. Yeah. We, we used it in there as well. Just, I mean, this this jumpsuit kind of spans a lot of era eras for the Soviet Union. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, so the way, uh, let's see, we'll just show some of the hatches and then we'll get into the gun part itself. So you got the driver's hatch here, which uh, driver can fit. You can stick a guy in there. Yay. Yay. Okay, here we go. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's like get, how they get in and Yeah, he's things. got a viewport, can look out of there. And then you have the um, couple hatches in here. So this would have like a four to six man crew. Uh, you'd have your commander, your driver, um, that's yeah, a tight. aim it, and then you'd have a loader, and then you would have. Uh, I didn't go in there. I'll show you that where they load next. Okay, okay. Uh, then you'd have two other guys back here, basically loading in more yeah. shells. This could shoot probably three, about, around three a minute, three shells. Um, but the uh, real place that they would, um, let's see, that's open already. So back here you have this little hatch, um, and that's actually where they would feed shells into. Now this actually includes two brick arms artillery shells. Um, you could put one in here and close the door, um, but there's a ramp, I guess I could show you inside, where it, it. loads in. Um, so you'd have two guys back here just yeah. loading it, and then on the side of the turret here, this hole, I could have just put that a tile, but that actual, that stud is where the spent casings, yep. the loader would just, be just chucking them out the window. So when you'd see these things operating, you'd see a whole pile of uh, spent casings cool. and grass out there. Cool. Um, and then, basically how it would work is, this, you know, they'd roll into their position, right? Mm -hmm. And then this top, this latch over here kind of sits at an angle. They have a button that just pops it open. Then the gun can raise, and then this would fold back. Okay. Um, it, this can do a full um, 360. Right. Turns around, whee! <laughs> and then, of course, you have your commander's hatch, and you have this anti-tank gun. Actually. This gun is one of a kind. Will just made this fresh. It's hot off the press. This cool. is a PKT. The key, the T stands for tank, and really cool gun. Um, it's also used as a, a standard uh, machine gun. It would be the PKM. Yeah. Uh, that has the um, the stock yep. and then the trigger. This one doesn't have the trigger uh, on there. This one's actually operated by a solenoid. Um, uh, remote switch, so it has a wire coming out of it with a button, and they'd have that inside the tank. So if, uh, this would be, let's say, anti-aircraft. So right. they'd be inside, and then if you, it, 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 there's a searchlight on the side of it. So if you move that searchlight, it will move the, the gun, gun with accordingly. it, yeah. and then they could fire it, you know, with the solenoid uh, remotely. That's cool. So they'd fire yeah. that from inside. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So this is very unique to this gun. This is the first time. Uh, Will has done this, Will Chapman from Brick Arms. Uh, did it specifically for this gun. Um, so this is the only way you can get it. Um, and then we might as well just get right into the, uh, the whole gun part. So since this is a, an artillery piece, a self-propelled gun, normally if you'd have an artillery piece like with the arms in the back opening up, you could see it. But this is all enclosed, so I figured I'd somewhat show you it with it open. So you have your commander's hatch, and then if you lift that, you can pull the rest of the hatch out. Yeah, very easy access. Very easy access in there. So you have place in here to load um, brick arm shells, yeah. um, which do fit. And then there is a breech that can fit uh, a brick arm shell in awesome. there as well. Awesome. And we thought we'd take it full step further. So that, yeah, that comes out of there really take nice and Right clean. out so we can really show off the gun features itself. Now, I made um, it possible that two guys can actually um, stand in there and load, uh, theoretically, be loading right. the, um, the shells, if I can do that. Oh, I'll just, just, take, I'll just take this off and I'll show you. <laughs> so this guy can stand right there. Stand right in here. Maybe so, another guy. So there's one. Yep, you'd have a second guy, and then you just load it back in. 
and then the gun should still uh, operate, you know, elevate with the two nice. guys on the side. That's cool. That's a nice fun play feature. So. Yeah. Um, so then what they would do is um, inside here you have this ramp um, that they would load in the shells from the back. The guy would catch it. This yellow bar here is actually, um, there's like two arms on the side, so they push a pedal or something. That whole bar would come down, and then they could load up all the all their uh, shells in here. So in this case, all of the, the two rows um, you have um, with the holes, the mm -hmm. technicals there, um, you can load that all up with brick arm shells, and this one bar, just like the real thing, will hold them all securely. Cool. So once you, this comes with two, but if you have more, if you purchase more, uh, we have more on, uh, on the website, brickmania.com, mm -hmm. then uh, load them all up, put this bar back on, there's a stud on either side to hold it, and it holds it in securely. Should I open this whole thing up so you can it, see that ramp? Absolutely. Or, yeah? Just rip that all whole right. top off. Fine. If you can do it, you can do it. Comes off fairly fairly easy so how many studs easy. is that hold, held on by only uh four studs four studs cool so two and there. So this thing really comes apart and then this thing also so. comes apart so you can see that ramp i put that in light gray in the back awesome so those cells would slide all the way through the guy would be inside catch it load them all up nice put the bar back up close the door off they go all right time lapse putting it back together <laughs> i left the guy in there uh oh i helped you did. Woo. Yeah, so the commander can either stand or sit, um, and it would be accurate. I, I have seen pictures where they're actually standing up like that high. And of course, when, when they're going through the red square and doing their, uh, on their parade, they're all right. <laughs> like that. Yes. Um, anyway, there you go. That is the 2S3 Acacia. Um, we got the full range, the Acacia. elevation, about as high as it can go. Um, it was kind of cool putting it together, doing that, that turret ring, and actually realizing where that pivot point is mm -hmm. to see how they actually got it to pivot up all the way. Um, I thought it was a little farther forward or back, sure. and then I realized it's not going to pivot, and then just like the real thing. <laughs> 2S3 Akatsuya, designed by our very own Yitzi. For more information, check out BrickMania.com. Thank you very much for watching.